All right, right now we are in Bigelow, and as you can see, that's the Oryx petrol station over there. That's Kasuma Junction right there. Okay, and a little bit ahead, you will get to Senegambia. Going this other way, you would go, it will take you to uh, the um, Brussels side, towards the airport side. Okay, and you can see today a lot of vehicles are using the road. Okay, because people are getting so frustrated using the off road. As the authorities are working together to uh, open up the road for people to use during this rainy season uh, and it's causing a lot of trouble, okay? The rainy season and the off-road is causing a lot of trouble on this OIC road. As you can see, there is still work going on, okay? And there are people responsible for doing those work. But if the vehicles are using the highway while people are doing the work, okay, it can, it can be really risky. So a lot of conflict is happening right now on this road and as of today there is there was a serious one a serious one okay and still now a very serious you know conflict where the uh, people are, that are using the road the, the passengers or the the drivers that are using the road got into serious conflict with the you know safety team of this OIC road up to the extent of hitting each other enjoying each other some you know having some serious injuries on their face and they had to rush rush them to the hospital to check that everything is okay and some also claim that they were hit with a shovel on their back all right so uh this video is not our regular oic road video we're gonna be continue we're gonna continue bringing you that but this one is not the regular one but in this video we invite Mr. Ying, okay, Mr. Ying, the one responsible for the safety of the road workers, the passengers, and everything about the road, okay, the safety, everything of the road. We invite him right here on our channel to talk to the public about, you know, how they should respect each other, you know, how they should be able to work together to be able to allow them to do their work and also facilitate the easy movement of cars on this highway. Uh, like I said, there is still construction going on and you can see vehicles are still using this road or the vehicles have started using this road. So there has to be that, that coordination between the drivers, the workers, the police and everybody you know, around this road to make sure that the safety is put first. My name is Ndene Ying. I'm the Health, Safety, Environment and Social Safeguard System Manager for Ariski on the uh, construction of the Battle Hardin Highway. And uh, we had been applying very high costs on, on the road, but we've been having lot of, also a lot of issues. A lot of issues regarding the having uh, traffic management and etc. We have a traffic management plan, which we have already shared with the police. And, uh, the road is, as you can see, the, from Airport Johnson to Senegambia is, I mean, uh, uh, is still under construction. Though the asphalt has been completed, but there are other works going on, like, I mean, the uh, other civil works, the concreting of the center, the vacation, with together with the installation of the street lights and etc all these things are under i mean the construction to a bit other culverts also are still under construction but we have a very big constraints and uh, i can say challenges a big challenge the challenge is all about the challenge is all about the public they are i mean how to call it the public compliance on this the public compliance so this is our problem i mean we have a lot of issues they will plow the road without authority this is why you see the, we've been working with the police closely from i mean airport junction to sukuta traffic light you can see that we are i mean during the day both day and night up to air i mean bruce Bitton table both day and night you have the police manning the road to control the traffic but yet still we still having a lot of problems particularly unnecessary accidents they're all about over speeding or not adhering to the i mean the traffic rules at the same time 
not even respecting the road construction rules, the road constructors that are on the way. Three days ago, I mean, on Monday we had a similar issue on this. And uh, I mean, at Senegambia, you can see that two days ago, you go to Sukuta traffic light, two vehicles has hit the uh, I mean, has hit the roundabout completely destroying every, I mean, everything. It cost us about $24 per meter, multiplied by 30 meters. It's still something, and the damage that has already been done, the time to reconstruct that, all of these things. You can see today what happens also. I mean, the, a team of young girls just forcefully rushed, I mean, drove into the active work area. They had issues with the, with the team doing the construction, getting to the level of enduing each other. One of our team members was injured, and uh, also, what, I mean, and also, uh, one of them claimed to be, I mean, hitting with a uh, with a shovel, with a spade on her back, which was definitely not necessary hadn't been they respected the rules when the team on the ground asked them to stop not to enter and they forcefully enter so these are some of the problems we are facing we really need full compliance of the public we appeal to the general public to go by the rule i mean to comply and i mean understand us that whenever we are operating Active work areas are not, I mean, uh, allowed to enter. Maybe, if the, I mean, if we have any chance of letting them in, we will let them in on the road. We are even planning to open the whole, I mean, the whole road from Airport Johnson down to uh, for, uh, to Senegambia. But how can we do that when we are still facing such problems? So this is the issue. We really appeal to the general public to comply with us and help us sort this. I mean, uh, join us, support us to finish this road on time. Thank you very much.